Hey, old Uncle Mark from the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. Been told I need to get a little further away so you can see what I do with pick attack and how I palm mute and all those things. So, uh, this song is called Paranoid. If you haven't seen my hammer-on video, please look at that first because this starts out with hammer-ons. So uh, get those hammer-ons down. This song is an F, I think, originally. But I can't sing it that high. Of course, I'm not Ozzy. You know, my reach is gone now that I, I'm an old geezer and not a young rock star wannabe. So um, I'm going to go move it down to a key I can deal with. So it's originally an F. There's E. There's a D sharp and there's D. I think I can pull it off in D, D or C, but I'm gonna use D. So here it is in D. Let me start that over. So when I do this hammer on, I need to get to this note, so I'm gonna do a Clapton technique. I'm gonna do this. And use both of my fingers to bar this chord. This is a signature lick. You have to have it in the song. Um, certain songs have signature licks. Uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, certainly. Uh, Black Sabbath. Tony Iommi always has signature licks. So you have to have them if you're going to play the song. So learn, learn these hammer-ons. You can do it with your thumb. So once you get that down, the song's pretty simple. It has another trick in it. Um, when you hit the C chord, so it's a uh, finish with my woman, but she doesn't help me. Okay, so you're gonna go to an F, C, D. So you're going to have to do that real fast because it does a down, up. It's like a Led Zeppelin move. So you play the F, this inverted F. If you haven't seen my inverted lessons, look at that. So you're going to go F, C, D. So when I go from D, I'm gonna use this third finger and come down using this third finger. Because when I go to my F, my third finger will naturally go to that high G string on the fifth fret. So I'll go here, high G sing, high G on the fifth, second finger, first finger. Or I will do it here. I will just come up, Put it there, pinky down. Either way, you have to you have to get that move. Second finger here, you know. However you want to do it. However you do that move, it's great. I tend to stay away from using my pinky because I'm so used to playing slide with it that I, it messes me up when I think on it. So, so maybe you come down, third finger, split. Palm muting. Chorus D. Can you help me? Help me with my brain. It's just back and forth. Oh, yeah, C.
could do any kind of jam in there if you want. Anything you want to do in there is awesome. Great song. It's nice to get that palm muting where you're... Practice this. Until you get that palm muting sound. It's great to work in dynamically. This way you don't have to use a volume pedal to, to dynamically move up and down in volume. You can... Play quietly rock it loud, you know. So you're using your palm and muting at the same time. So it's something to practice. Paranoid, Black Sabbath, killer freaking classic rock tune, metal song. It's got all of it. Um, if this lesson helps, you feel like throwing a tip in the virtual tip jar, it's below in the show notes. Um, it's uh, paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark lesson tips, something like that. So if you feel like doing that, you're more than welcome. Chill out. Uh, happy New Year. Um, from now on, I'm going to be putting out um, every Friday morning a beginner and advanced lesson. Um, so it'll be for beginners. Then I'll do another lesson advanced. It'll be a, 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 an electric one week, an acoustic one week, an electric one week, and I'll fill it in with some, some, uh, other practice tools that I use, kind of like hammer-ons and stuff like that. So, uh, happy new year. Have a wonderful weekend and, uh, we'll see you on Friday morning early.